All right, lately, a lot of people have asked like my favorite One Piece character in general up until the point that I've seen. And I was gonna do just a regular tier list of One Piece characters, but I was like, let's do something different. And my friend, Willie, I'll link him down below, Willie Nordridge, he just did JoJo's characters he could beat in a fight. And I was like, maybe that's how I do One Piece. So I'm currently like halfway through Water 7, but I went through and screenshot everybody, every major character, from episode one to the end of Skypea, This took forever to find everyone and screenshot them. I might've missed someone here and there. If I did, I'm sorry. I literally just went through the show in the screenshot faces. Scared to put Foxy in the list. Scared to put Foxy in the list. You're right, you're, you're right, man. I figured I should do this now rather than later because eventually it's going to get to the point where there's too many characters, bro. Maybe I'll do like one Omega tier list at the end, but it's gonna it gets to be too many. So I figure let's start. Let's do episode one to end of Skypea. I don't know the exact episode. I'll probably put it on the screen and who I could beat in a fight. Let's get it. So I have five categories. Said categories are I destroy them 100%. I win, but get a scratch or two. I win, but lose a limb or two. I definitely lose. And they bend me over and destroy my soul. Let's start with Ace. Yep. Not even saying a chance. I'm going to be honest. His dashing good looks would already cripple me. And I, I say that as a heterosexual male. Let's see here. Who can I absolutely see? Stop. Oh my goodness. Give me every single child in the Usopp pirates. Where are they? Those little bastards. I would absolutely destroy them. In fact, I'll take all three of them on at the same time. On God. Wait, wait, why is Mary here? <laughs> there he is. I would absolutely obliterate. Like I said, they could all come at me at the same time. I feel like I could beat Django really easily, but he would get in a hit or two. Because I feel like you got to be really dumb to lose to Django. Like, just stare into his, like, hypnosis. Uh, I would literally grab him by the chin and, like, slam him down. And that would be the end of it. Do I get a weapon? Am I allowed to have a weapon? He has chakrams? That's okay. I'll dodge. No, no, no. This is what happens. Django tries to hypnotize me, and then I dodge it, and then he's wide open. Let's say I have like a baseball bat. Yeah, I think that's fair. These guys have like swords and stuff. I say I get a baseball bat, like just a regular wooden bat. Full body, I think I would win, but lose a limb or two. Like he would just punch the hell out of me. I think he's a little bit of a baby, but he's still kind of strong. Oh, this dog is getting like, they're going to have to call PETA for this dog. Let's go ahead and put the two giants, uh, Dory and Broggy. I think they also bend me over and just take my soul. Yeah, the giants roll me, bro. They're, they're literally too big. They're so large. Uh, Usopp! I know all of chat and all the comments are back, Jack. Usopp obliterates you. You don't stand a goddamn chance against Usopp. And I'll be honest, I feel like I have to rate this based on where I am in the show. Usopp might be get insanely strong. Who knows? Maybe the three Usopp pirates come back and they're like Jigga Chads. I have to rate it based on where I am. I think I beat Usopp, but I get a scratch or two. Usopp tries too many, like, cheesy things. Like, wherever he says, like, I have a paper cut! And, like, he expects you to, like, cringe and it, like, disables you. That just wouldn't phase me at all. Captain Kuro? I think I just definitely lose. I almost want to say I win, but lose a limb or two, but Kuro's scary, man. Kuro got them long fingers. He, he got the pussyfoot maneuver. He fast. He's got the blades. I think I lose. Cricket. I think I just definitely lose. Cricket's just a really buff dude. I don't think he's, like, insanely powerful or anything, but he's just a buff dude. I think I just definitely lose. He would just grab my bat and then just throw me, but it wouldn't be as bad as some others. I kind of feel the same way about Noland and Kalgara, probably. Noland and Calgary would probably be kind of the same way. They're just these big buff dudes. Inaru would bend me over and take my soul. It ain't no shot. I don't stand a chance. He's he's built different. Chat, I'm gonna be completely honest. I think I beat Genthru, but might lose a limb or two. He's so dumb. He's so powerful and doesn't know how to use it, like, to its full advantage. I think I beat him, but lose a limb. I think he'd get lucky with, like, a shot or something. Chat, Bellamare? Oh my- <laughs> It took one bullet. Come on, guys. One bullet, Andy? Uh, let's stop joking ourselves. Um, <laughs> chat, I don't think I stand a chance against Mihawk. Mihawk would bend me over 1 million percent. Kind of uh, around the same as Ace. I'm not really putting these in any kind of order, to be honest. I feel like the two Pussycat Brothers, the Pussy Brothers, I think I win just lose a limb or two against them. High key. If I take them on one at a time, they were kind of dumb too. Kobe? Oh my god. Yo, throw me Kobe, and I'll throw him right back. Dead. Oh, heck this guy. I would stomp this guy. He'd probably get a scratch or two in. Heck him though. Chee chee chee. Let's do all of Blackbeard's crew. Okay, we've seen how powerful the sniper is. I don't think I would even see him before he shot me. The champion probably destroy me. I don't really understand the doctor. I would probably lose. 
Oh, the last guy. Uh, his name's like La Lafette or something. Uh, I kind of feel the same, like the same way about these two, because I don't really know what either of them do, but they kind of just scare me. I think I still lose. And then Blackbeard, I probably just definitely lose too. I don't think I stand a chance. Mary is an inanimate object. I'm gonna be honest. I don't understand why that's part of this. How Meppo would get a scratch or two in, but he's not standing a chance. Mary, I would literally grab Mary by the horns and just throw him down to the ground. Roger was the last king of the pirates. Probably roll me. You don't become king of the pirates by just like trolling a little bit. Chat, Hachan? I, I don't think Hachan really stands a chance. Yeah, he's an Arlong pirate. Bro is so lost all the time. He'll get a cut or two in, but that's it. That's not cope. Sorry. Chat, I can beat Crocodile. I'll lose a limb in the process. I can beat him. Oh my God, if I'm allowed to study, I can beat him. I swear. No cap on a stack. I beat Croc. Here's what happens. I wait for him to come to me, all right? We're talking like a Home Alone scenario. He's after me. I prep inside of my home. He slams the door open. There I am with a candle. I say, back, back. And he starts screaming, ah, no. I have a candle. And I just, I keep inching towards him more and more and more until I pull out my lighter and I go, and then it, the sand lights on fire and he turns into glass and dies. <laughs> There you go. So that's why I beat Crocodile. Uh, I won't hear any argument against it because I've thought this out thoroughly. Robin would clap my cheeks. Don't stand a single chance. I would probably like it. Wiper, I think I definitely lose. He's just super strong, super fast. I think I beat both of the unluckies. I'd probably get some scratches and whatnot. The unluckies are animals. I would commit animal abuse only in that scenario. The unluckies also have a Gatling gun. You're right. Richie would just eat me. Don't stand a chance there. Chat, none of you tell me that Gaimon can beat me. I would obliterate Gaimon. I would absolutely destroy Gaimon. I would grab him by the bush and just throw him. He don't stand a chance, bro. I don't care. Shanks I beat. He lost a limb to a sea creature. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> I think I got a shot against Bon Clay. I think I have a shot. I'll put him right there. Arlong? I think I just get bent. That dude is enormous. Kadu? I honestly think I would lose to Kadu because I couldn't bring myself to hurt him. Chopper, on the other hand, I love so much that I would have to put him in his place. Actually, do I lose to Chopper? I think I lose to Chopper. Chopper can grow so large. If Chopper has a rumble ball, I lose. Shanks would roll you? Hey, man. Give me a shot. Pagaya literally survived a shot from God, a lightning strike from God. I think I lose. That man is unkillable. I'd probably destroy Kaya. Is that her name, Kaya? Buggy? I think I could beat Buggy. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I could take Buggy, bro. Actually, no. His limbs splitting up, kind of in the same category as Pagaya. I think it would take a lot for him to kill me, but me killing him? Oh my, God, that's a different story, bro. Hachi is seven foot three. You're cooked, bro. He may be seven foot three. He has the brain of a Peanut, get it together. Yeah, Mr. One takes my soul. Oh my gosh. Smoker. I feel like I could I'd do a bit, of, a bit of tactician planning with Smoker and stand somewhat of a chance, but I think I would still lose. I think I'd be a tactician. Gunfall, I definitely lose for sure. He can he can fly on uh he can fly on Pierre. I'm pretty sure if I have an understanding of how of how Doflamingo works, I think he could just make me pull out a gun and shoot myself. I'm pretty sure. The mayor, I clap his cheeks. He's not even getting a scratch in. His name, is it Sen Goku? He's the, he's the fleet admiral. I don't really know anything about him. I would take his goat hostage and say, if you don't surrender, I kill the goat. And then he surrenders. Uh, but the goat might scratch me up a little bit. Don Krieg? Don Krieg's kind of in the same category as like, as these guys. Like he's just big buff, just kind of pummel me. Sanji's got the like leg reach of LeBron. I think I just definitely lose to Sanji. This guy's name is Daddy, right? Daddy the sniper, Daddy the pirate, Daddy the something. Isn't he technically filler? Uh, I think I lose to daddy. Uh, chat, as much as I hate Wapple, I don't think I stand a chance against him. He's all metallic. I think I just lose, including his other form. I'm pretty sure Whitebeard could just step on me. Uh, and not like in like a hot sexual way, but in just like, I'm an ant. What's her name? This is Miss, uh, this is like Egadem's. No, Egadem is Vivi's partner. She's one of the Baroque work agents. Uh, she would roll me. She's like a JoJo's character in terms of buffness. Dalton? Dalton's also kind of just Giga Chat energy. Would just punch me. Don't really know much about Bartholomew Kuma. He's a pretty large guy. I would probably just definitely lose. 
lose. Egidem is like too nice. I think I win, but lose a limb or two. Egidem's too nice. It would be hard for him to hurt me. Satori, I win with a scratch or two just because I would be filled with pure rage to defeat Satori. I cannot stand that character. I would literally win just because of like the sheer adrenaline driving me. Wait, there's both Alvitas. I'm gonna win again. I'm gonna lose to this Alvita. I'm gonna win against the smooth Alvita. I would figure something out to use the smoothness of her against herself. Like maybe like make a slip and slide and then trick her into running into it. So she's just Zoo! Dr. Koreha, old woman, still smart. I think I I win with a limb or two gone. This is Richie's owner. Richie rolls me. I think I beat this guy and just get a, a scratch or two. I'm gonna be honest. Mr. Three probably bends me. Just throws some wax at me and I just perish. The two monkeys. I'm gonna put them both here. I think I just definitely lose against the monkeys. Pearl Man. Oh my gosh. Pearl Man, probably the strongest character in the One Piece first. Destroys my soul. Impenetrable defenses. Zoro rolls me. Zoro just, I don't stand a single chance. The thing about Luffy is like, I feel like I could emotionally manipulate him. I still lose though. This guy's in, in Shanks crew. I don't know anything about him, but he probably kind of just looks like a sort of like Dalton type, like Jiga Chad. Momu, I would definitely lose because I, I couldn't bring myself to hurt Momu. Sort of similar to Kadu. I couldn't do it. Chad, this is, didn't she like slip and die? Come on guys. Didn't she like fall downstairs or something? <laughs> Lost the stairs. Come on. This dude and his dog. Dog. I think if they're together, I get smoked. His dog gun is insane though, where he bats. But I feel like he's kind of like manipulate, like you could manipulate him too. She, you couldn't. I think I just definitely lose against her. I think I could win and lose a limb or two. We both have baseball bats. We'll just bat the ball back and forth. Except his is at like a thousand miles per hour and mine's probably gonna be at like 10. This guy's in Arlong's crew. I think I just lose against him. Actually, he's gonna probably bend me. This girl, oh my gosh, the most annoying laugh in the series aside from Satori's. I I always thought that she misused the hell out of her power. She's able to adjust her weight and just like in midair. And she would always just do like a down B. And that's all she did. Instead of like throwing back a punch and then as you throw it, you incre you expand the weight up. There was so much you could do and she didn't use it. I win and only get a scratch. You literally just bait her into dropping somewhere bad. She did not use her power well at all. Yasop, I think he's like a sniper. Uh. I don't really know anything about Yasop. I'll put him here. I'll clone him and his son. Okay. Uh, this guy, I feel like wouldn't be as bad as the other ones. I'll put him there. Uh, Zeph would bend me over for sure. Oh, dude, this is the guy that was with Vivi, right? Oh, and here's Vivi. Mr. Eight, nine, he gets clapped. No, he doesn't stand a single chance. I think I stand more of a chance against him than the three Usopp pirates. Why does Vivi look so weird in this picture? Is it because it's like straight on? I think I beat Vivi, but lose a limb or two because that swinging thing. It also depends on if she has Kadu or not. Dude, what's his name it starts with a k the leader of the rebel army in alabasta yeah i lose you know why that man is unkillable just like pagaya they're both like unkillable demon kings koza yeah that man got shot and just just walked it off rubbed some dirt on it this guy's the right the guy that rode the unicycle in buggy's crew i think i just like try to sprint at him and knock the unicycle out from under him i think i can beat him dude this girl her power wasn't that strong she's just lucky she ran into luffy and luffy's just brain dead you just dodge her paint and then you just punt her she could probably cut me up pretty good. I think I'd lose limbs and die. I think it'd be kind of close, but she'd still roll me, especially if I have just a baseball bat. Miss Doublefinger is more than welcome to bend me, all right? So let's just keep things a buck. Morgan, I think Morgan's a little baby boy, but I still lose because he's just a giant. This guy, Dragon, I've seen him once. He seems quite integral. Uh, I'm gonna assume I just lose to him, but I don't really know anything about him. Mostly because the government's worried about him too. So if the government's worried about you, then like, Garp kind of seems just Giga Chad too. I'll put him with the Giga Chads. Bellamy? Could I outsmart Bellamy? Let me think. How could I outsmart Bellamy? If I have time, I paint sort of like Roadrunner and Coyote, and I paint me on a wall. He slant no, because he would slam into it and be fine. I swear there's a way to outsmart Bellamy. There's gotta be some way. I put spikes all around myself. I asked Don Krieg, I go, yo, Mr. Krieg, could I borrow your spike tarp? He's like, yeah, man. I beat you up? Sure, here you go. As he's about to slam into me, I just 
and then boom, he runs right into me. I might I might lose a limb or two in the process, but I win. Nami? I think I just definitely lose to Nami. She's got that staff, bro. She would have like 20 feet reach. Captain McKinley I beat. I think I only get a scratch or two out of it too. Bro, he army crawls. Like, he army crawls advancing towards you. Come on. If he had used dials, maybe. Uh, this guy's in Shanks crew. He looks like he could consume me. Kind of like, uh, kind of like Wapole. I'll put him here. Ohm terrifies me. I think he bends me. He does too. These two pre-spin me. This guy's Bellamy's like sidekick. He has like the scythe thing. I think I win losing a limb or two. Actually, I don't think I even put him that high. He, I think he's, he's like all bark, no bite. I don't think she really did anything. She was like in the very beginning. I think I, I like roll. Uh, same for her. I think I roll her too. This is Nami's sister. I think I win with a scratch or two. Patty and Carne, or win with a, losing a limb or two, win lose, getting a scratch or two. He's like a skilled swordsman. I think I lo definitely lose. This is, what are their names? I wrote them down. Johnny and Yosaku. I don't remember which is which. Uh, they're both kind of like, they're kind of okay. They're bounty hunters. I think both, I beat both of them. Losing a limb or two. He has those spinning balls, right? I think I lose against him. I feel like there's some coping I could do here with Mr. Five. He's got the exploding boogers, man. There's gotta be some coping I can do here. I gotta, I gotta pull something. I think Mr. Five misused his power a lot too. I know every part of him explodes too. He doesn't get hurt by the explosion either. Chat, I, I think I can do it. I think I can figure out a way. Let me think, let me think. Hey, let me go to Google real quick. How to defeat bombs. Bomb counter IRL. I'm gonna get put on a watch list, bro. Hang on, I can think through this. I can do this. How do I defeat him? I don't know, but I'll figure it out later. I'll lose a limb or two in the process and I win with a scratch or two. There we go. This is my tier list of who I could fight in one piece. I could beat all of these people, 1 million percent. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you did enjoy. I will do an updated version of this, uh, probably in like another couple hundred episodes. And we'll probably revisit this one just to see uh, see how things change and whatnot uh, as, as characters develop. But thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.